Hi, and welcome to another Merry Marshall Christmas. I'm Steve, your narrator. This year, we have a continuation of Terma Marshall. What happened to him? We don't know, because we never got that far in the story last year. And something happened to this house. Was it Terma Marshall? Was it another gingerbread? Or was it a townsfolk? We may find out this year if we can get through the entire story. Otherwise, you'll have to stay tuned for another Merry Marshall Christmas special. Well, here we are again. I hear you, old Northy, old Paul, and me, old Marshallville. And it's quiet because all those people that came up here last year are gone. La, 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 la. Okay, cut it, cut it. You guys get out. It's about time they went right in the head. And now it's been all quiet. And I'm just going to be moseying around town and making sure things are okay. Oh, hey, there's Mr. Sheriff. I say hi to Mr. Sheriff. Hey, Mr. Sheriff. Hello, Marshall. Have you witnessed that house down over there? What's he talking about, some house? There's a bunch of houses in here, old Marshallville. The one that's collapsing stuff, you know? Ah, right, let's go check this thing out. It might be a job for Mr. Marshall and Mr. Sheriff. Um, excuse me, can somebody save me so I can sue the person who destroyed my house? Um, I'll Hey, it sounds like Karen's house fell on her. Um, excuse me, I need to charge you from stepping on my Oh, be quiet there, Karen. No one wants to listen to you. Um, Jimmy, you can't shut me up. I'm just... Create a lawsuit. Now, that Karen ain't right in her head. I'll tell you that right now. Hey, we know what we gotta do, Sheriff? We gotta find out who's knocking down houses over here. I agree, Marshall. Hi, it's me, Mr. Frosty. I came alive again in this magical place called the North Pole because people think when it snows outside, it's time for me to have a cog pipe and a button nose and coal eyes and, and then I come to life and then I make kids sing around with me because I am a jolly old Frosty. Excuse me, can somebody save me? Oh no, Karen's house fell on her. Let's check out and see how Karen's doing. Oh, hi, Mrs. Karen. How are you doing down there? Um, excuse me, Mr. Frosty. You're staying on my property. I can give you a fine for that. Well, that's, that's not really nice, Mrs. Karen. Um, I just... Excuse me, are you trying to talk back to me? Guys, I'm trying to be all nice and jolly, but these Karens in this world nowadays, they're not really jolly people, are they? Um, excuse me, are you bad-mouthing me? Wait, I, I can't hear you, Mrs. Karen. I, I'm sorry, I just can't. I can't, I can't uh, hear you. Excuse me. Yes, you can. Now, <laughs> Mr. Sheriff, I think it's that Turbo Marshal that we never caught last year. I can sell if it's frosty. I have one more to go for the domination of Marshallville. I think he's the one over here knocking all these houses down. That guy ain't riding his head. We never called him, because he's kind of scary. Marshall, you mean the one who snapped me in the neck? Sheriff! Mr. Sheriff! What happened? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Hey, wait a second. How are you back into this scene? It's called insurance. Oh, he's got insurance. He's got that kind of Canadian insurance or something. Anyways, Marshall, I think it definitely was Turbo Marshall. All right, we got to go find this Turbo Marshal, and I got to make sure I put him in jail and knock that little keister out of the North Poles. I found my way back to Marshallville. I found a target to terminate this tree. Ah! Ah! Attack! Ah! I've been searching my house. And I can't find this old Tommy Marshall. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Ah, uh, Marshall, I will terminate you. That guy ain't riding his head, but I'm ready this year. All right, Mr. Terminator Marshall guy, I told you you're going to be back in my town. I was going to get you. Now you knocked old Mrs. Karen's house on over over here, and I'm going to get you for that. 
Who is Mrs. Karen? Uh, Mrs. Karen? She's that annoying woman over there who won't shut up half the time. I don't like her that much, but I like her house because it looked kind of pretty. Um, excuse me, I'm still over here. Can I speak to your supervisor? Shut up, Karen! No one's talking to you! Uh, I didn't even knock over any house, and if I found one, I would. Wait a second. Hold on a second. He said he didn't knock over that house. Then who knocked over Miss Karen's house? Um, excuse me. I'm still here. Oh, be quiet, Karen. No one wants to hear what you have to say about anything. Even if you saw the person knock over your house, no one wants to hear you. Everyone's tired of listening to all these Karens in the world. Yeah, shut up, Karen. I will terminate you if you keep speaking. Ah. Uh, maybe Mr. Mr. Terminal Marshall and me can come together and we can kind of find out who solved this mystery and then we can take out each other at the end of the movie. How about that? How's that sound, Mr. Terminal Marshall? Wait, what did you just say? I said we need to team up. Unfortunately, we don't like each other and we still need to get it on and knock each other out. But there must be another threat in this world that we have to deal with. Okay, I agree with you for once. I am Billy. I am Billy. I am Billy. I am hungry for Billy. La, 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 la. Wait, <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> I am Master Gingerbread Man coming to destroy you, <laughs> Billy. <laughs> well, we gotta find out who's over here messing with Mrs. Karen's house. Oh no, here comes Mr. Frosty again. Oh, hi there, Mr. Marshall. Oh, hi there, Frosty. I guess you came back from the dead too, huh? Huh? Well, I come back from the dead every year. I, cause I milk them made of snow, and then the kids breathe life back into me, like a magical fairy dust. Oh, you be quiet with your magical fairy dust. Nobody cares about your magical fairy dust. Well, Mr. Marshall, don't be so mean to me. What are you doing out here? Oh, me and Mr. Termin Marshall over here are gonna be looking for whoever knocked the old Karen's house out. Um. I'm still over here, so my please save me. Oh, be quiet, Mr. I'll be quiet, Mrs. Karen. Nobody wants to listen to you. Oh, why are you working with this guy? He's scary. Oh, no, he killed me last time, Mr. Marshall. Who are you? I'm Turbo Marshall, and I want your snowy blood. Oh, that don't sound good. Uh, <laughs> I... Yeah. Ah... Uh, I will destroy you, not no more, Frosty. Oh, Mr. Frosty, he's okay right now because we're looking for somebody else, but he's probably still a mean guy. So we gotta keep an eye out on him, Mr. Frosty. Oh, stop it, Mr. Turbo Marshall. We still gotta go do things, all right? Fine. Hey, Mr. Frosty, you want to join our little crusade? Well, I guess so, but I'm kind of scared. Ah. Oh, that Frosty ain't riding his head. He never been riding his head. Ah, oh, gotta find someone to help me. Hey, Billy, oh, are you hi, ready? Mr. Sheriff. Oh, I'm so scared. I saw this big gingerbread person, and he was saying that he was docking over Miss Karen's house. Um, excuse me, may I speak to your manager now? Oh. Oh, this is Miss Karen. Oh, hey, Miss Karen, are you okay? Um, excuse me, you're trespassing. Trespassing? I'm trying to help you. Um, excuse me, um, I can get you a lawsuit. Oh, God, this Karen person's off her rocker. Oh, Miss Karen, oh, nobody cares about you anymore. We just care about your house. Ah, she's so scary. Also, Miss Karen's kind of harassing me, too. She's kind of being a Karen. Um, excuse me, I heard that. Shut up, Karen! Nobody is talking to you! 
Anyways, back to you, Mr. Sheriff. There's this big gingerbread person, and he's over there trying to kill the town, he says. And he knocked over Miss Karen's house, and unfortunately, he didn't get Miss Karen, because she's still over there being a Karen. Well, Billy, me and Marshall will go find out who this giant gingerbread man is and stop him. Oh, thank you. Thank you, because I, I want to still sing my song. I am Billy. La, 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 la. I am Billy. Narrator Steve here, now introducing a new character, Hillbilly Kid. Oh, well, I'm from the hills, and I don't know what's going on around here. I just showed up out of the forest, but who knows, man? We'll just go with it. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Hey, man, do you have any money, man? Oh man, what's this guy? He looks like a hippie. Hey, can I have that? Can I have that candy cane, man? Well, yeah. Well, you know, us hillbillies, we, we gave our shirt off the back. That's why I don't have a shirt on. I gave it to some other hippie kid, and he took the shirt off my back, and I was just like, "I'm helping you out," but he never brought me my shirt back. Well, thanks, man. Hmm. Hey, hippie kid, you know anything about this house over here? Yeah, man, that's Mrs. Karen's house. Excuse me, um, I'm still over here. Yeah, shut up, Karen. Hey, that's not really nice to say to a Karen. Oh, hey, Miss Karen. Um, excuse me, you're trespassing on my lawn. I can get a lawsuit. That, um, that's not really nice. See, I'm a hillbilly, and we help each other out because that's what we do in the hills. Um, excuse me, are you uh, seven feet, seven inches away from me? I can shoot you. What's he talking about suing people? Hey, Miss Karen, guess what? It. Uh, <laughs> uh, hey, hippie uh, kid, I kicked her head. <laughs> nice, man. Well, I think we're going to be best friends. Yeah. <laughs> um, excuse me, I'm still over here. Shut up, Karen. Yo, yeah, shut up, Karen. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. I, Master Gingerbread Man. I'm here with my trusty friend, the, Carl. The boss? Is it your real name, Michael? Shut up, Carl. Master Gingerbread Man. Ha 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 ha. And we came to destroy the town of Marshallville. Yeah. Um, excuse me. Are, are you the guys who knocked down my house? Shut up, Karen! Um, I can create a lawsuit on you. I think we should step on her house again. I agree. I agree. Yeah. Uh, excuse me, I can feel that. I can sue you. Uh, uh, shut up, Karen. Yes, yeah, shut up, Karen! <laughs> uh, boss? <laughs> uh, boss? <laughs> uh, boss. What? I think we should stop on Karen. Good idea. Uh, we've been looking around for these old so-called big old gingerbready men, and I haven't been able to find them yet. Ah, uh, Ma, so have you been looking up in the sky? <laughs> oh, hey, guys, I just well, saw them over there in the... The, the, the forest over there. They were over there with Mr. Billy. And frosting. Billy was running away from him. Yeah, I don't like that guy. Are you stop intimidating Mr. Frosty, Mr. Turbo Marshall guy? You're not my mother. You can't tell me what to do. Uh, uh, me ah. me, Mr. Marshall. Oh, let's go to the forest and let's go find these gingerbread people so we can get Karen out from under her house. And then I can tell Karen to shut up again, because no one likes a Karen in the world. Yeah, no one likes a Karen in the world. I, uh, I wish you was destroyed. Excuse me, can somebody please help me now? Shut up, Karen! Shut up, Karen! Shut it up, Karen! Oh, ha, ha, ha! Master Gingerbread Man here with my trusty psychic Carl. We found the town. The town is ours. Ha 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 ha. The Michael? I'm Master Gingerbread Man. Let's get the town. Destroy. Destroy Marshallville. Yeah. 
I hear those guys over there. They're saying they're going to destroy my town. Well, this is my town, and that ain't going to happen because I got my trusty sidekicks, and I got my arch nemesis, and we're all going to get them. Yeah. See, they're not going to destroy it before I destroy Marshall. Yeah. Hey, what happened to your hand already? You already destroyed some of your hand, Mr. Turbo Marshall. I thought you were pretty tough, but you already got your hand destroyed. How are you going to fight these guys? If you speak one bit, I'll obliterate you. Oh, my gosh. This guy's crazy. He ain't riding the head, I'll tell you that. All right, let's go get him. Yeah! Oh, no! no. Oh. Oh. Oh, there he is. I'm going to tell you something, mister. I'm going to tell you, Mr. Gingerbread Master, somebody. You ain't welcome in my town. Oh, his name's actually Michael. <laughs> oh, oh, hi there, Mr. Ginger people. Oh, those guys are pretty big. They're kind of scary looking. Hey, Mr. Jin, I want to show you a little trick I learned. Oh, Frosty the Dome Man. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, Frosty. Yeah, take that, mister. I learned that when I died last year and I flew around the town. Oh, I am the ghost of Frosty. Oh, Frosty. <laughs> oh, Frosty. Oh, Frosty. Oh. Okay, now it's time to get these guys again. Ay -ya! No. You thinking what I'm thinking, Mr. Sheriff? Aim for the bushes. <laughs> yeah! Oh, it's so far! It's so far! And there's no bushes! Now, I rule Marshallville as the only ones left standing. Oh, you ain't done standing yet. It's my turn to get you, Mr. Turbo Marshall. I didn't do it last year, and I'll do it this year. Ah! Ah! Yeah. Yeah, you get it? You're uh -oh. terminated. You're terminated. You're terminated. Ah! 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 That terminated Marshall ain't running his head. And so it is again. Marshallville is safe from the destruction of Master Gingerbread Man and his sidekick Carl. And also Terminator Guy is dead too. Because last year there was a plot hole we had to come back and retrofix. That's right. And this is what I gotta tell everybody about old hero Marshallville. We are a very respectful community and we like people um excuse me i'm still under the house here oh shut up karen no one's talking to you no one cares as you see we st we care very much about our community <laughs> that's right people and the moral of this story is that Christmas is about when kids bring you back to life so that you can destroy other things that come back to life and yes, children, as you see, you used to be nice to everybody. Besides annoying Karens, it's... Um, excuse me, I'm still here. Oh, shut up, Karen. Nobody likes you anyway. Hey, Mr. Sheriff, I gotta say, we don't have to end this season with a song anymore. All we gotta say is nothing, because we don't sing up here. Hey, what if we hit Karen again? That's right. Excuse me, I'm gonna show you. Alright, that's it, Karen. Uh... Ah!